child a lot. I don't care who tells it. I'm telling you, if you don't believe nothing else, I tell you. And like, believe me when I tell you, a lot. I don't care who it t- who tells it. Um, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika, and with um, some more Malia Davis. I told you I ain't letting it go. Uh, on my second channel, I'm going to link down in the pinned comment. I'm going to link the entire article. I mean, the entire uh, interview that Malia Davis, Mazer, Brittany Bowens did. I ain't taking a chance putting it on my main channel, but I look in the pin comment now. I'm going to link the, um, I'm going to link that, that entire interview where you can go over and listen to it for yourself. I can't put it on my main page. I'm going to put it on my backup page. So for those of you who are, did not catch the interview, you know I got you, boo. All you got to do is go down in that comment section, that panty. And right there in that panty at the very top will be in the pinned comment. The article we're about to discuss as well as a link to the entire interview this woman did. But let's just talk a little bit about what she said. The article reads... She didn't deserve that. Malia Davis' mom talks with ABC 13 about the reality of her daughter's death. With the reality of her daughter's death setting in, Brittany Bowens, the mother of four-year-old Malia Davis, talked exclusively with ABC 13 Eyewitness News about her renewed heartache. On Monday, the medical examiner in Harris County identified the remains found on an Arkansas roadside as that of the little girl who had been missing for a month and the remains were found in a garbage bag discovered by a landscaping crew. Bowens told, was told over the phone Monday that the remains were belonged to her daughter. I think at that moment, that's when reality set in. That was her in that bag sitting along the street, alongside the street. A distraught Brittany Bowens told ABC 13. Bowens reflected on her daughter's, how her daughter was found. She said, <clears throat> it's not fair. It's not fair at all. I just don't understand this, and it's not fair because she didn't deserve that. You don't say. In an interview Tuesday, the interview Tuesday came exactly one month after Bowens' former fiancé, Darian Vince, first reported the girl missing. Vince told authorities that the girl was kidnapped while she was a, and he was attacked on the way to Bush Inter- Intercontinental Airport to pick up Bowens. Vince's story, however, had changed multiple times, according to law enforcement. After uh, a week after Malia was reported missing, the 26-year-old was charged with tampering with evidence, namely a corpse. In the middle of all of this, a region-wide search intensified for the little girl. Just as heartbreaking as the disappearance, it turned out the child body was dumped in Arkansas based on the information community activist Quinell X got out of Vince in a jailhouse conversation on May the 31st. Just hours after the talk, law enforcement located the bag containing the remains. Hmm. Child. Awful. And the way she's acting, you would think that she would have been concerned about her child. She wasn't. She wasn't concerned. And it shows that it, she wasn't concerned. Because any concerned parent would have never, first of all, been with a man who would cause harm to her child. Secondly, nobody, no good person, no good mother would be antagonizing the person who is caretaking your child while you are allegedly air court quotes out of town attending a family member's funeral. I call it bullshit. I know I'm supposed to remain unbiased. And you're gonna have to forgive me, family. I I, I can't find it in my heart to be that way. This was a miscarriage of justice, in my opinion. And I'm outraged that she got the nerve to sit up on an interview collecting more fame off her daughter's death. I would be so hurt. I wouldn't even be able to sit for an interview. But yes, you will see 
If you click the link down in the um, pinned comment and watch the interview, look at her demeanor. Then come back and tell me how you feel about it. That's it. That's all, y'all. Remember the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the video. Ratings get me recognized on the uh, YouTube streets. Comment down below in the panel section. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the article as well as the interview. All of that's going to be in a pinned comment down below so that you can go watch it for yourself. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.